Here we are with Chris Holden Reed again on the set of Sex After Kids. Can you tell us a little bit about your character, Gage? Um, he is the brother of one of the other characters, Larissa, and um, both of them who are parents. And uh, we're just trying to make our way through the crazy world of um, early childhood parenting. And you're a parent in real life? I am, yeah. So has that, have you pulled from your own experiences for this film? No, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's very different. You know, this is, this is a situational comedy, and um, there was nothing funny about having a child. It's a very serious business. Um, Not according to Kristen Booth. <laughs> well, Kristen, you know, she's, she's got her own special type, type of comedy going on. No, of course, I'm pulling from, like, my real life, too. I have... Um, I went through this, this, my kid in the movie is a year old and my guy in real life is four years old, so, you know, distant, foggy memories of what it was like, but, uh, yeah, a lot of fun and, you know, keeping it alive. And you worked with Jeremy on uh, the untitled works of Paul Shepard That's previously, right, yeah. which First Weekend Club did promote as well. That's right. Thank you guys so much. Mm -hmm. So you're familiar with our organization, clearly, yeah. and, and you're a big supporter of Canadian film. Can you tell us what keeps you working here in Canada and what, what you like about Canadian films? You know, we have such a, a rich, divergent culture up here. You know, we're not so answerable to the big mass marketing machine that uh, a lot of the productions that happen in the States are. Um, and we have these lovely stories to tell. You know, we're a very multicultural society. Um, we're socialists, which is, uh, you know, I think it's a great thing. Um, and, uh, you know, and our, and our community here is very rich. It's, it's, there's a lot of art history and a lot of creativity, uh, creativity between um, the, fran the Francophone and the Anglophone sides. Both of them, they're very individual, but very poignant um, uh, voices in, in, our, in, in cinema. And, um, you know, I, I, this is my home. I don't really want to work in the States. I, I love Canada. That's nice to hear from one of our most recognizable faces, as I'm sure all the fans of Lost Girl are, mm. are swooning out there watching this. Can you tell us if you have a favorite Canadian film? Uh, I have a few over the years. I mean, I loved um, Crazy, mm -hmm. The Red Violin. Um, what's one of oh, Down the Road or On the Road, a long time ago with Jane Eastwood, who I worked with years ago. Um, I love a lot of our documentaries, you know. Um, and I, there's, there's a, it's, the it's, list goes on, yeah. it seems. Yeah. And what's next for you in the film world after this? I start a new project uh, end of September called The Returned, which is um, a co-pro with Spain, I believe. Um, it's a bit of a zombie-esque movie, but it's not like, you know, there's not a lot of zombies walking around. It's more about a social... It's about how society views the zombie disease. And uh, it's very interesting, and it's, I'm looking forward to doing it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, I remember seeing you in a Film Center short called Big Girl, mm -hmm. was it, many years ago. So it's wonderful to see you continuing to be he here and present in Canadian film and looking forward to seeing how Sex After Kids turns out. Me too. <laughs>